Hey guys, just want to come and talk to you for a little bit. Uh, I set out today to become an Amazon driver and it was a complete disaster. From start to finish, you can see back there I still have packages that have not been delivered. I must say that this was one gig that I bit off more than I could chew for sure. This is not for your girl. Uh, we started out kind of light and we were delivering packages. You can see them packages back there. We were delivering packages at the houses and I was like, oh, okay, this is not bad. Hunty, when we got to the apartment complex and I went up them steps about three times and I looked back at the packages and I had about 38 more packages to go and then I and then they were requesting a key to go to the office to let I said oh this is not for the faint of heart so mind you I had my wonderful husband trying to help me and push me along and he did not want to quit but your girl mm -mm. I'm not doing all of that. I just cannot. It's just too much. So, I am on my way back to the famous headquarters of Amazon. And I'm happily telling them that it was my first time and it will definitely be my last time. This I will not try again. <laughs> But I think for the young people that have strong hearts, strong legs, and, you know, strong everything, uh, I think it's good for somebody that's fresh, who have not worked for 37 years, hard, and uh, managed the business and all that kind of good stuff. I think it's wonderful. I think it's a wonderful opportunity. I think controlling your schedule absolutely is a wonderful opportunity for anyone who do not like to be told when to come and when to go. So, yeah. So, yeah. It, it's, it, I, I, I mean, I'm not taking anything against Amazon. Um, I love the concept. Um, I love the fact that you can work as much as you want. And you can earn a decent salary and a decent living. Um, with driving not to mention i love driving so i didn't mind driving guys but them steps was it it was just done over finished kaput mm -mm. so yeah so i i mean like i said I, I i i think i think i really love the concept of just you know contracting with with the 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 delivery giant i guess maybe that's what it was but you know um, and, uh, I don't know. They're just known all over the world. So I was kind of excited about, you know, just all of that, all of that. But y'all see those packages back there? They still back there. Uh-uh. Can't do it. So, I can truly say that I gave it my all. And, um, so, uh, I had, yesterday, no, Sunday was my first day doing Instacart. So, we, I wanted to try to do the both of them together. And really, that would have been fantastic. But, um, no, mm -mm. not going to work for you, girl. So, um, I'm going to do Instacart for a while and we'll see what happens. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. Um, so far, so good right now. I'm on my third day with Instacart, but, uh, Amazon <laughs> was short-lived. 
I didn't even make it eight hours. So, yeah. Mm -mm. And and I and I don't consider myself a lazy person, but it's just entirely too much. It was overwhelming. It was just overwhelming. Mm -mm. So, anyway, uh, I'm signing out. I'll let y'all know how to do my third or fourth day in Instacart. All right. Videoing the time is 6 17 p.m. I did the packages What's and I'm picking, I don't know. And the packages have are out of my car and back over into the station. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The station. The workers. And we back here. And I turned them in. I'm just making sure that I don't want to be responsible for this BS. Okay, so I'm under the station. You get on that? Uh -uh. But the time, I got the time right here now that I'm under the station. I know. All right. Good morning, guys. Um, this is my second attempt at trying to do Amazon. Uh, of course, you saw I was at my wit's end on the first day with doing uh, the Amazon Flex. Um, today I'm going to try uh, Amazon Prime. Yeah. Okay. Let me. You can see I'm here. That's Amazon Prime. You can see the little Prime. Let's see. Hey, Prime now. So yeah. So we are. We del I'm del uh, trying to deliver packages. I signed up for two packages um well two orders at 5:45 and um 5:45 and a 8 no 9:45 to 11 so they're like two hour shifts so um uh this place actually was packed it had cost in there okay and so Oh wait a minute. Oh there's there's cars they're waiting uh also waiting um uh to get packages uh, like I am. Um I was completely lost so the instructions they give you um they can definitely work on um they need to have people assigned because I'm sure that um, this um, part of the business they are uh, people are starting and and resigning like clockwork like a rotating door revolving door um, probably because of the frustration and the and the amount of work that they give you for um, the pay, I think. Um, so, y'all, I am trying not to get desperate and make a foolish move, a desperate move, um, because I, um, I just see more and more every day I, I'm through with being here. From the time I got up, I got up this morning, I got on the Beltway to 95 to drive over here to Springfield, Virginia. People were driving like complete maniacs. Now, I got a heavy foot and I mean, I, I can put it down, trust me. Uh, And but these people were flying. I'm at 75, and they were flying past me like I'm sitting still. Matter of fact, they was flying 
so fast they shook my car okay so getting back to the story I'm going to try my best to hold out till I'm 59 and a half. I need to work until I'm 59 and a half, y'all. I had fun. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I'm sorry. But I had fun doing it. All right. And so, therefore, I'm having to hold my repatriation up because I was not disciplined. I admit it. Um, so, uh, so now I'm scrambling, trying to get my relocation monies together, and um, you know, this just ain't it. It's just not it. But I'm doing what I got to do. I'm going to try to hang in here. I got uh, I got a whole nother year. I'm getting ready to turn 58 Saturday coming. Um, and so I still have a whole nother year, an actual six months that I can work before um, I can touch my IRA without being penalized. Okay, and I still have the opportunities to put money in my IRA as well. Um, that's kind of like serving as my backup emergency plan. <laughs> they said you need to, when you go to Gambia or to these third world countries, you need to have a backup for a backup. So anyway, um, so that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to have a backup for a backup and, you know, all that stuff. Because my daddy gone, y'all. That's the only one that'll bail me out if I get in trouble. So he gone, so I can't, I can't, I can't rely on my dad. I don't know why I didn't do this in my 20s. <laughs> but anyway, so I was in utter chaos this morning. We, I drove up to this warehouse. It's pitch black. I see all the Amazon employees, they going into the wreck. So I go into the employee associates section instead of the delivery driver section, which is where I am now. And you guys, I can let you all see the cars. This is where the drivers are. You can see that the cars are sitting here. Um, and so I'm waiting because I got lost. They will not, they have not yet assigned. I was, so I'm considered late. So the guy checked me in just to see if they would give me, technically they, you know, they're not supposed to give me, but the guy tried to, he tried to, try to help me out. But I was here on time, y'all. I just checked in at the wrong place and was just wandering around, lost, until finally another young lady was looking lost too and she rolled her window down and we both was blind leading the blind and we finally figured out which side we were supposed to come in on and uh so <sighs> i'm sitting here waiting for them to assign me but obviously they um are not gonna assign you know you know what once you get a certain age you know people don't treat you the same it's like when you was like a pretty young thing you know and it's okay i'm good with that i accept my age ability and I just love myself, so I'm not concerned about that. But you know, I do notice there is a um, uh, discrimination thing going on once you get, they can recognize you, the age of their mamas and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, and then I had an encounter with, y'all look in my eyes. And they kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I said, see, this is why I've been self-employed all my life. You know, because, see, I was about ready to forget I was a missionary. 
Mm-hmm. You know, take me long. Anyway. I'm sitting here burning up my gas. I'm trying not to get frustrated and pull off. Um, oh, Lord, here comes another person pulling up. So, I don't know. I, I mean, it's almost 7 o'clock. I was supposed to have my stuff and gone. So, I don't think, I guess, they having fun. Okay, dude. Yeah. So, it's all kind of people, all kinds of here, all walks of life. Yeah. So, I don't know. I guess I messed up. I guess I'm not going to get a, get a, um, thing. But I did sign up for a second batch. So, um, I'll probably get a second, I'll probably get the second batch. And, uh, you know, go from there.